one of the biggest barriers that people seem to run into when it's time to review their will is, is it an easy process or is this going to take a lot of time? My name is Andrew Ayers. I'm an estate planning and business law attorney who works with families and business owners to protect their legacies through planning. Today we're going to talk about how easy it is to update your will. Now, for me, I deal with this every day, so I know how easy it is to update the documents and go through the process and get it ready and get it signed. But a lot of times you've never done this before, or if you did it, you did it once, years ago, and maybe you didn't have a good experience with the attorney you worked with, you didn't necessarily understand what you were signing, and you're a little concerned that you don't want to go back and change around the documents. Will it make something invalid? Will it disinherit somebody? There could be all kinds of strange reasons you can think of why you wouldn't want to update your will. But the most common one is, oh, it's too hard. And I'm here to tell you today, it's not too hard. It's actually easy to update your will. What you have to determine is there's two ways to do it and which way you want to move forward. And the way you decide what you need to update is how deep into the will you have to make your changes. If it's as simple as adding a new personal representative, or maybe it's you've had a child and you need to add them to the will, we can use what's called a codicil, which is a simple amendment, usually one to two pages long, that's signed just like your will with two witnesses and notarized. You are only doing an amendment to the will. You don't have to redo the entire will. You don't have to go page by page and go through everything. If it's a simple change, you can just do a codicil. However, if it's been many years since you drafted your will, let's say your kids were small and now they are off and they have their own grandkids and you've got grandkids, it might be time to update that will. And one of those misconceptions I often get from people is, oh, it's so long ago, it's probably not even valid anymore, right? Actually, that will is probably still valid. If you haven't revoked it or you haven't done a new will, then that will from 20 years ago would still be the will that would control. And you don't need to be intimidated if you need to review your will with an attorney. You'll actually find that's a very easy process. We can sit down, look through the important parts of the will, and determine whether you need a full new estate plan or whether you just need a codicil. And while you're doing your updated will, or maybe updating a trust, it's also a good time to look at your health care document. You may have also signed these years ago, maybe it's been five or six years, and now your kids are adults. And while you used to have your brother or used to have a cousin be the person making health care decisions, it would make a lot more sense to have one of your adult children be making those health care decisions. So as part of your will revisions, you can also make sure your health care documents are up to date, any powers of attorney you have are up to date. If you have a personal property memorandum, it's also a good time to check it out and make sure you have the right people in the right places receiving the right property. There's two ways you can do all of this. One, you can stick your head in the sand and say, oh, I'm never going to worry about it. Or you can try to do it yourself and go to a website and hope that you've executed everything correctly. Or two, work with a professional. Talk to your financial advisor, your accountant. Go see your attorney. Bring them the will. It doesn't have to be the same attorney you worked with back in the day. You can go to a whole new attorney who can review them fresh for you and say, you know what, this was good for you 20 years ago, but today I would do a few different things. So in the end, it is easy to update your will. It just takes a few steps, and it takes a little time with a professional attorney going through everything in the process. There's no reason not to update your will. If it's more than three years old, set up a time to speak to an attorney. You can go to andrewmayers.com. There's a red button that says schedule a consultation. If you click that button, it takes you to my personal calendar. We can set up a call to discuss your estate plan and where it is, and where it was 20 years ago or five years ago or 10 years ago and whether or not it's time for you to have a new estate plan done.